I have to cook something or else I'm not right. My alarm goes off at 3.09 in the morning. I get in here at around 4.35 in the morning. The first thing I do is I walk the line. I like to see if it's been cleaned. Then I like to walk in the kitchen and see what we have in our walk-in to start the day, to check the product that's coming in. Also check in with my chefs. We have a body of 124 cooks and eight chefs. So it, it takes about 45 cooks in the morning to set up the breakfast. I make it a point to visit every cook that we have and interact with them and make sure that they know that I'm here for them. And that's how the day starts. And then it just goes on. Right over here, we do tacos, al pastor, carne asada, chicken tacos, French toast, red velvet pancakes, Right over here we have a breakfast cereal bar. Right over here is our Vietnamese soup bar. We have the miso soup, the laska, we have ramen, udon. Over here rice and noodles. We have our Japanese sushi, eggs benedict, shrimp and grits. You name it, we got it. What I love about food and what food does is that it brings people together. It doesn't matter where you come from what stress you had in the day, or how mad you might be at somebody. Since you can put food in the table and everything else goes out the window and it becomes about the food, and it's just a beautiful thing. I grew up in Mexico and my family it's all about food. My aunt would always come with moles and tamales and this, this uh, beautiful crafted food that everybody would just smell it when they walked through the door, right? And, and so I started to just fall in love with it. I, I realized that food was my passion when I was about eight years old. I love being in there with the food. Whatever it is, I, I like to be in there and and just fix something, cook something with them. I love being with the team. What other responsibilities come along with being an executive chef? You are responsible for the financial success of the restaurant, but also you are responsible for every single employee, uh, their safety, and also for every single guest that eats your food and their safety so that the product that comes in is produced with all the safety regulations and that also tastes good. What kind of schooling did you do um, to get to the point where you are now? I studied for two years, but it, you know, cooking is something that you develop the skill throughout the years and you keep getting better and better at it and it just becomes a part of who you are. So schooling is important to a certain degree, but then it's, it's practicing it and going out there and doing something with it. Did you have any struggles trying to get into the career or anybody say that you couldn't or anything like that? Oh, for sure, you always do. Especially as a female, uh, it's a little bit of a challenge because you're entering into a world that is uh, more male-oriented and so you have to be able to keep up with them, you know, especially when you're young. In you, my younger years, I had to do the broiler and, and, and saute and do it better than they could. And I worked with some very tough chefs that all I could do was peel potatoes or carrots or, you know, maybe learn how to turn the vegetables. So, there wasn't a lot allowed, you know, for me. And so sitting in the background, I would say, you know, someday I am going to be a very good chef. And the non-sayers would see that, that I can do it just as well as anybody else. 
What advice would you have for someone who wanted, like a young person who wanted to be a chef? Life prepares you for everything, step at a time. 32 years has prepared me to deal with 124 cooks, thousands and thousands of guests. People say it's so much, it's so stressful, but it really comes easy for me now because your, your toolbox, I guess, is filled with more tools for the things that come in. You know, you know how to fix things. You react quickly um, and efficiently to the challenges that come your way because you have the experience behind it. But it comes with time. But you can't let the stress overcome you or the challenges that are coming your way take over because then you're just gonna be overwhelmed and give up. But it has to be in your heart because there's gonna be people, even your family is gonna say, don't do it. You're gonna come in early in the morning, go home late, sleep a few hours, get up and go do it again the next day. So it has to be a passion inside of you that moves you to it.